All right, guys, I know I talked about this some little while ago. We're going to talk about this again. We'll talk about rotation and kind of what the plan is here going forward. So I'll uh, let you take a look at what we have. Um, uh, what we had last time was a really good and interesting performance from Chen Chung Ju, who I think that our coaches don't think is good enough to play. Yeah, surplus to requirements. I love this. He shows up as star uh, CTP Premier League player who's unable to improve. So they say, ah, oh, this guy is no good. You don't need him on the team anymore, which is Boulder Dash. Yeah, he's 29 years old, but he's an excellent player, current international. We're not going to just release this guy. We're going to keep playing him. Two goals for him as he gets the man of the match in that last match that you just saw this morning. Um, what I want to talk about, though, is uh, kind of what the plan is as we're dealing with um, rotation in our squad. So uh, you can see we have actually quite large squad here. There are a couple of players who we don't have in the rotation plan, and we'll get to them in a second. I did a lot of rotation here for these friendlies. Look at all the friendlies that we played, and it was around at the end of the AFC Cup that I really put the rotation on. We won every single one of these, never gave up. Uh, well, I guess... Elon County somehow had three goals against us. I'm not quite sure what happened with that one. Since um, that adventure, we never gave up more than a single goal in any of those matches. Um, now, I know that the uh, level of the competition was not great, but, I mean, we beat Hongyuan one nothing. That's the team that beat us in the season last year, 5 nothing. Remember that one? Leopard Cat. I'm not sure if Leopard Cat are actually in this league right now or not. I forget. We beat them 9 nothing. Athletic Club Taipei, which is the closest thing we have to rival, we beat 5-0. And then the Taipei Skywalkers, we then beat 5-1. So against all of the teams that are recognizable teams that we usually play against, we have been winning not only have we been beating them, but we've been beating them by a large margin of victory. And even this match, we were really dominant, probably should have scored a lot more. Um, and Dai had that goal, again, playing from uh, central, uh, uh, from, uh, uh, sorry, defensive midfield. And uh, so you can take a look at this. This is sort of the way that um, it's set up. This is the basic setup that I would expect to see us use um, from now on. Um, but we're going to do some rotation. Now, I'm probably not going to do a lot of rotation at goal. We'll probably keep Libolon in there um, unless something weird happens, and I doubt it will. We did give both Wu Jiawan and Wu Shengjie um, a uh, opportunity over in the uh, friendlies. Um, so, uh, you know, if we look over at their friendly performance, I mean, uh, Wu Jiawan actually did a very good job and came off in a lot of these matches. Some of them actually went on partway through. Interesting how that works. Uh, Wu Shengjie, um, let's take a look and see how he did in uh, his friendlies. Um, he didn't play in that many of them, and uh, he was also on or off, you know, pretty frequently. So, I mean, whatever. Our, my assistant manager wanted to give him some time. The nice thing about this rotation is, or this uh, setup is that it's pretty easy for me to use a squad planner. Um, I also have a um, text document next to me, but instead of showing you that, I'll just show it to you here. It's uh, set up to be basically the same way. So these three positions are the same. Those two are the same. Those three are the same. That makes this really simple. Um, and so basically what we're going to do is the top three are the guys who are uh, are the main starters. And then from time to time, I'll try to keep track of this. We'll try to let each of the rest of, say, these four guys um, down underneath um, rotate in, depending on the situation, depending upon who's playing, and depending upon how important the match is or how confident we are of victory. Just about any of these guys would be good. Um, the one I worry about, I mean, remember Huang Chiwei, who last time um, in the uh, really big match gave up a goal that um, he really shouldn't have, kind of a silly thing for him to do that allowed um, Ki Guan Cha to tie the score. Um, he's one I kind of worry about, but I think he's better than this. I do think that he actually has the ability to be a leading player, so I'm not going to uh, write him off yet. The one who's here at the back is uh, uh, Shen Yuting, who just isn't really that experienced, you know, and he's kind of a Division II player still, only 19 years old. So we'll give him a chance to develop, right? We'll just rotate these guys in and out from time to time, and we'll give a rest to each one of these, you know, when the uh, time comes. Um, left wing back... It says that uh, Feng Xiaochi is uh, the top one. We're actually not going to play him. Um, I know that uh, he still shows up as star uh, CTP Premier League player. I do worry about him not liking big matches, although that hasn't really shown up that much. I mean, if you look here at, um, uh, well, he was suspended for the Premier League match, but if you look here at those cup matches, which were definitely big matches, he played quite well in both of them, including coming up with an assist in the uh, first one against uh, Ki Guan Cha. You look at his career stats last season, he was excellent, um, had a seven uh, average rating, and uh, started almost every match, not quite. Um, and so, I mean, you know, we're going to keep him on the uh, squad. The real reason why we want to keep him on the squad, though, let's see if we can find this here, um, is, uh, yeah, so the media really like him. The reason, real reason why we want him on the squad is because um, he is uh, uh, a... Uh, 
a really um, uh, influential player, and that's the thing that we want. Yeah, here we go. Highly influential player, good reputation, high ability, long-standing squad member. Um, but the reason why I don't want to play him too much is because we got this guy Chen Jian uh, Chen Jian Liang, who I just scored, who comes in also as the star of CTP Premier League ability right away. And um, I don't think he's a current international, but he should be. Probably will be soon. Now he is. He's he's played international as well. Um, this guy comes from um, Athletic Club Taipei. Told you we have a rivalry. Um, <coughs> Six point six eight average rating is all that he had last season, which is a little bit uh, surprising to me because this guy is really good. And so Feng Xiao Chu, we're kind of keeping him on for his um, influential nature, but um, he's going to be overshadowed because this guy is the real thing. Uh, we'll do a little bit of rotation. We might give Feng Xiao Chu a couple of uh, starts here or there, you know, feel kind of bad for him, but we're going to try not to rotate like everybody at once like we've done before. Over here, we got Menagong, of course, um, and uh, these other two are young. I don't know very much about either one of them, other than that we've uh, given them a little bit of uh, time in the friendlies, and they haven't uh, been awful. Um, really, both of them, so this guy's a midfielder. This guy's probably a fullback, honestly. I mean, maybe. I don't know. He's really a midfielder as well. Um, but we're having them play on the right side because they have sort of the ability to do that, and we can train them uh, to do what they um, can't do naturally. Here in defensive uh, midfield, we have Ndaye, of course, who is training up on it right now. Um, and uh, when we look at his uh, training, it's going to tell us that he's uh, unconvincing at the moment. And so it's going to, and he's actually unhappy about training, so how about that? Um, it's going to take a little while for him to really get used to that, right? So uh, we'll, we'll watch him, and we'll definitely give him a bunch of game time to see if he can do it. He can still improve, and we want him to improve and be able to play a little bit further down. Um, he and Chen Chengju are going to be together. Chen Chengju is excellent. We all know about Lin Guanda. Xu Chengju is a player that we just brought on and had to pay a huge salary to. Um, he thinks he's a star already. He's not quite that good, but we're going to put him in and give him some game time. Um, and uh, uh, Lu Qinghua as well um, is uh, another new player that we have who will get a little bit of time here or there. I think that he came up through the youth system. Um, and then up uh, front, of course, we've got uh, Nene and Silla and uh, Tsai Xiangwei, um, who are, are really, really big starters, followed by um, Huang Guanda, uh, who's unhappy with me because I didn't let him go join Leopard Cat for free. Whatever. Well, he'll get over it. He was unhappy with me before because I didn't have him in the AFC uh, Cup uh, squad. He's 19 years old. He can get over it. And we have uh, Zhang uh, uh, Chijie. Um, this is another 18-year-old player. Also, not really that much um, experience, not quite um, good enough yet, but is going to probably get to that point soon, we think. Um, and then finally, a guy who's not showing up there for whatever reason, we have Liang Zhenwei. Let's see if I can find him here. Um, there he is. Uh, Liang Zhenwei is the other one who's going to be playing um, from time to time in that position. So anyway, long story short, we're going to try to do the same thing as much as we can. We'll try to rotate guys in and out, give each one of these guys at least some kind of game time. There are other guys on here that I didn't talk about that are probably not going to get it. So Liu Yuting is probably not because I just don't have space for him, but I feel bad. I don't want to like just release him. I mean, we got him from Hongyuan, and uh, we don't want him to go back, so we'll just hold on to him. He can enjoy life and enjoy making a salary of zero for zero game time. Um, uh, the other one is uh, the guy who we have seen before, if I can find him. Yeah, Hu Shu Chan. Hu Shu Chan um, is trying to learn how to play the attacking midfielder role. I don't think he's ever going to really be able to learn it, even though he's resilient. He hasn't had the professionalism he needs to to learn that. Um, and, uh, I mean... We'll see what happens. He's just, he's probably never going to be good enough to really be considered part of the squad. Um, so you can see here it's a makeshift, right? So, I mean, that's not going to be good enough to actually start for us. And we have a whole bunch of other people who can start in the position. There was a team that came in for him, and I said no. And um, I think that he's probably happy with that fact. But um, as you can see, I mean, I haven't used him in any friendlies at all. That's the way it's going to be. We're probably not going to use him at all, and um, he'll probably have to get upset with me if he really wants game time or wants me to release him because I don't really see any other any reason to give him any game time. He just doesn't look good enough. Anyway, there you go. That's uh, kind of what the plan is here for uh, trying to uh, rotate the squad. Uh, basically, I mean, the idea here 
is that we want to get to the point where um, instead of having like an A squad and a B squad, we have like an A squad and we have interchangeable parts at each position. So we can rotate a guy in, rotate a different guy in, and they start to learn how to play together over time. Um, and that way we can also look at some of these 18-year-old kids and finally like decide, okay, does this kid have it or are we just going to move on um, and hopefully be able to use that to sort of trim the uh, squad down. So, uh, yeah, I mean, look for us, you know, beginning of this season, definitely to um, be able to uh, dominate and uh, score some massive wins right from the start. Um, and then uh, we'll see what happens as things uh, start to calm down and as we get uh, deeper into the season, um, especially once the AFC Cup starts up again. Um, by the way, in the AFC Cup, uh, Kiguancha lost um, to the team from Indonesia in the next round. That team from Indonesia, I think, won the whole thing. can't remember their name. Um, so, uh, I mean, it makes me feel pretty good that we did lose out to a team that was um, quite good in the end, you know, but... Um, uh, you kind of want to lose to the champion. You know, you want to lose to like the best and say, well, we would have been the second best because we almost beat them. So it's all right. There's always next season. Talk to you later. See you tomorrow. Bye.